Hello everybody, this is Janice, and I'm back with um, <clears throat> adding uh, or embellishing your Cricut Cuts with Distress Ink. And this time what we're going to use is this background stamp that I got from Michaels, and a fish that I have already inked with three different colors, just to kind of save that step. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, heat emboss on this fish. Um, but the only thing is, is when you do your inking, you want to make sure to heat dry it or, you know, just dry it with your heat gun because this ink stays wet for longer time than most dye ink bases do. I mean, dye ink based stamps, stamp pads. <laughs> you can't talk. And um, if you tried to emboss it, the ink would stick to the background as well as to the actual um, Versamark. And then just for an added touch, we could take our little anti-static bag and just kind of run rub it over there. And then I'm going to take my um, little background stamp and my Versamark. And Distress does make an ink pad that is for this purpose. And I have it, but I need to re-ink it. And I need to... Um, I need to kind of rush this along because I have to be somewhere soon. So... Okay, and if you wanted to make sure that you're getting a good impression, something I like to do is take my brayer and just apply some pressure this way, and that helps. Okay, there's other ways to do it, but that's the way I, I like to do it. And then we're going to get our clear embossing powder. which I keep in this little, thing, little container from the dollar store. And I'm looking for my tweezers. There they are. Okay, now I could have kept this fish um, ivory colored and done a resist technique. But that'll be another one that we do. And then we're going to go ahead and And just do it until it's all nice and glossy. And see that? Isn't he pretty? Now, just to show you what I mean about the distress or the resist technique, I'm going to go ahead and accent or accentuate the embossing that I did. I'm looking for a red um, mm -hmm. oh it's right here I just use an old block from when I converted my wood mounted oh what did I do I contaminated my worn lipstick oh boy a little too free there with my, but anyway, um, and see what's happening. The uh, embossed areas are resisting the ink, so that now we can see that pattern 
very, very cool. I love it. We're going to do this with a fish that has not been, or maybe just try like a, like a lighter color. But hopefully you get the idea. You can go in and do this peacock feathers color. See that emerging? See that pattern emerging? It's amazing. I love it. Maybe we could do a really, really dark color. Let's put in, bring in some purple for fun. Just quick, oops. And now we can see the color on the tail. Look how cool that is. That's how, uh, that's what makes this so exciting to me, is seeing that emerge like that. So there you go, that's embossing with Versamark over a already, um, already blended base. So, um, hope that helps, and thanks for watching. Bye.